Live action videos. Step three, post-production. There are many free apps you can use to edit your video. If you have any Apple devices, iMovie comes pre-installed. If you have a PC or access to the Microsoft Store, Microsoft Photos also includes a video editor. Some other options to consider are VSDC, Quick, Lightworks, or you can even apply simple edits directly in YouTube Studio or Vimeo before you publish your video. We recommend Adobe Premiere Rush. The starter version of the app is free and available on Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, so it's a good option for almost anyone. The free version of Rush is limited to only three exports. There is also a paid version available that offers unlimited exports, or it is included as a part of Premiere Pro if you already have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Check with your school's IT department as many schools provide a free Creative Cloud subscription for students. Check out our editing tutorial on the learning portal for more specific instructions using Adobe Rush, iMovie, and Microsoft Photos. During the editing process, you will once again be using your script or storyboard as a guide. It will help keep you on track with the order of your clips and scene directions. Before you begin editing your video, consider how you are going to manage your files. When you're dealing with video projects, you will end up with multiple files in many different formats. For example, you may have scripts, live footage, voiceover recordings, animations, screencasts, and images. Gather all of your project files and create a folder to keep everything in one place. If you can, name your files by scene name to prevent you from searching for them later. Bring your video and audio files into your chosen editing program. Here you will be able to trim the clips, join clips together, sync your audio, add transitions, music, sounds, and voiceover, as well as any video effects, titles, and or credits and closed captions. The post-production process is the place where you can really begin to see your video ideas come to life. Place all your clips in the correct order and play around with the features of your chosen video editor until you have a final product you are happy with. Then, it is time to export. Title your project and export it into your project folder. It might then be a good idea to open your saved video on another device to make sure that the quality is retained and the audio is at a good level. From this point, you can share your finished video with the world, upload it to a video sharing site, or just submit it to your professor, wherever is best for you to reach your intended audience.